I've had this shelf about three years now and I love it. The problem is, is it's a little wobbly side to side. It hasn't really bothered me to date, but my record collection is growing. In fact, I just got done purging all the junk out of my collection so that whatever was left, I could move. The issue is I want to put AV equipment on top of this shelf. The AV equipment I have is vintage and insanely heavy. So I decided to reinforce it with glue and cross braces. When you're doing this kind of gluing, you have to work quickly because the glue starts to set pretty fast. I'm trying to get this all done in under about 10 minutes so I can put the pipe clamps on it which will hold it nice and square.
Adding these pipe clamps is totally optional, but since I've got a whole collection of them, why not? You get a better glue up in the end. If you've never worked with wood glue, it's really nice actually. It's water-based, so you can just clean it up with a warm rag. The trick is to keep cleaning as you go along, because once the glue dries, it's really hard and hard to get off. This shelf was easy because it's painted wood, so the glue doesn't stick to it very well anyways. I'm using cheaper paint than I normally use because you're never going to see this. I just want it to be some color other than wood so you don't notice it when you're looking from the front. I left this in as I thought you might find it interesting how you can store a six foot long pipe clamp easily. You put a union in the pipe so that you can change the length at will. All my pipe clamps are two foot long and then I have a six foot long extenders so I can make eight foot long poles if I want. In fact, I can keep stringing the extenders as long as I want. This makes it really easy. I can thank Mr. Father for that one. So I made these spacers early on. They're cut from the same one by three stock. The issue was I never painted them. So while I was doing this project, I took them off and painted them. Here I'm just putting them back where they belong.
So I'm sinking two screws first to establish where they're gonna be so they don't move around on me, and then I drill out the rest of the holes. It's important that everywhere this cross brace crosses a shelf in either direction, you sink a screw. That's what gives it the rigidity, not just the corners, but all the way down the line. And I'm using pretty good screws here to make sure I get a good hold on this. It was rock solid when I finished, even with all that weight on top, plus the records. So you can definitely see there is cross bracing, but in my opinion, it just blends into the background. I suppose if you were real crafty, you could put some false backs to this thing, but I didn't see the point. This is in broad daylight with sun shining in my basement. I'm sorry, I just have to show off my vintage fleet of audio equipment. This hi-fi system sounds awesome.